The house, when we took off the outside extraneous things, spiffied up, uh, painted, gave real life to the exterior of the house, then we also very thoughtfully, once again with Clearscapes, Tom Sayer and his architect, added a back to the house, an addition, because we had middle school children. So I think one of the key points about this house is it's not a period house and we haven't decorated it as a period house. It functions as a contemporary house, sort of in historic clothing. It's much less dated than it might seem to a, the casual observer. You can see it upstairs, particularly in the area that's my study that has a loft above it, a sleeping loft. When we moved in, my son's bed was where my study is, and his desk was upstairs in the tower. So I think that, to me, that's as good an example as any I know, not doing this period thing with the house, but using every bit of it as interesting space. I would encourage whomever buys the house to think of each room not in traditional ways. I'd like to think that we did that, but we didn't really, really do that. Because I think depending on the size of the family who moves in here, one of the upstairs bedrooms has the most gorgeous view in the house, from the house. And it would be a wonderful sort of a common room.